You spoke of national titles, so let's go ahead and bring them up. Central Michigan at LSU. LSU minus 19 and a half is where it sits. I actually, You're a dick. You know that? You're a dick. You're a fucking dick. I, they, they won a title two years ago. Fuck that's a, you. That's, I thought that was a good transition. <laughs> What'd your line have? My line was leave? LSU minus 17. I will tell you. Too many points. I, you think it's too many points? I don't. I don't. Yeah, think, what's the real line now? What's uh, the real line now? Real line is nineteen and a half. It opened at twenty-one. That's too many points. I think. I think it's. I think I'm going to go LSU here, and and here's That's why. Fine. I think LSU can actually throw the ball a little bit. I think they outclass Central Michigan's secondary big time with their wide receivers, and I don't think that the issue with LSU right now will hurt them in this game. Right? Their issue is run blocking and getting stops on on the defensive line, I think the LSU secondary is going to be fine in this game. I think they will be able to man up in this game. I don't think that they are going to have a ton of problems running the ball because they're not going to have to. I, I think that they they outclass in, in the back end on offense and defense. Central Michigan, Central Michigan can't run the ball. Like I, I, they should outclass Central Michigan in every aspect of the game. Gary. Well, don't, don't forget. Jesus like, Christ. okay, tell me this: is is Missouri a better football team than LSU right now? Yes. Okay, Missouri only beat them by ten. Okay, but uh, what, so what were the first words out of my mouth? We start talking about this game outside of calling you an asshole. Too many points. Too many points. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I just wonder. Like, there's been a lot of hate for LSU this week. I wonder if people are selling them a, a touch too short right now. Like, uh, yeah, I think they'll have problems once they get into SEC play, but I don't think this is going to be one of those games. Like, I just I, I think that they can. This is one where they can run it up and feel good about themselves before they head to. Are they going to Starkville next week? I think it's Starkville next yep. week. So, yeah, I think I think this is kind of a get right spot and get your team feeling a little bit better about themselves, and then and then go on from there. But but you you still believe too many points. Well, I, I'm not. If we have to make a pick, Gary, I'm not picking against my team. Okay, I don't do that. Okay, I don't ever do that. All right, All right but let me, let I'm me telling you, it it's too many points. <laughs> so you can write down LSU in the cover. Okay, but I, but my words are telling everybody in the world: if you bet this game, you're an idiot. Yeah, no, I, I tend to agree with that. I tend to agree. Our offensive line couldn't move McNeese State. Central Michigan is far better than McNeese State. Okay, that is true. That is true. Well. Yeah, right. yeah. Move, next game. Next game. Let's go. We're done. <laughs> next, done. Okay. next game. I didn't want to talk about it to begin with. I thought you were a dick to put it on there. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.